The breeze of Konigsberg problem is a problem that lays the foundation for entire graph theory and topology in mathematics. The problem starts in the 18th century with the city of Konigsberg, which was divided into two parts by the water of Pregel River that had two islands floating on it. The entire setup had seven breezes, six connecting the city to the islands and one between the two islands. Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler was put forward a task to find out whether a route existed such that it would traverse all the breezes exactly once. So the problem is, if you wanted to take a walk across the breezes one fine morning, could you travel in such a way that you crossed all the breezes, but you were allowed to cross each breeze exactly once? While our first instinct might be to see if such a path exists through heat and trial, Euler came up with an ingenious idea to look at the problem. To understand how graph theory can be used as a tool to explore the problem, let's first try simplifying the problem. Let us call the ends of the breezes to be nodes. And if an even number of breezes come out of the node, the node be called an even node. And if an odd number of breezes come out of the node, the node be called an odd node. Let us now look at a few more examples other than the breezes of Konigsberg, presenting you the heat and trial for various examples. In this first example, an Eulerian path is possible and can be easily found by heat and trial. In this second example, no path seems to work as Euler wanted. No matter which path you take, you're bound to have to traverse at least one breeze twice to travel through the breezes or you are stuck. In this example as well, an Eulerian path is possible. On top of that, it is also possible to return to the same point you started on even by following the restrictions mentioned earlier. Now this is called an Eulerian circuit. Take this fourth example, an Eulerian path is easy to find here as well. Now, how do we even look for pattern here? 
can a pattern even exist in the first place in such conditions? Well, for Euler, it did. He brought forward an idea that in a network for a path to be traversable, which is to be able to travel the path without going over a side more than once, you can have two conditions. One, where there are exactly two vertices that are of an odd order and the rest are even order. Two, where all the vertices are of an even order. Let's try looking at how the first condition makes sense. For any node, think how even number of breezes are a necessity. If you want to enter a piece of land or a node, you'd want to get out of the node and since you can't get out through the same breeze, you need a complementary breeze. Therefore, you need even breezes on each node to meet the requirements, except for the starting and the ending node. For those nodes, you're not required to come to the node you started with from anywhere because, well, you started from there. And for the ending node, you don't need to go out of the node because, well, you ended there. Language is crazy, huh? And that is why when you have exactly two vertices that are of odd order, the rest are even, the network is traversable and you need to start and end at nodes of odd order. For the second condition, Let's try making sense of what it means. What if the start and the end node is the same? In that case, you need to go out first and come in at that node for that node as well. And therefore, all the nodes would have to be even. And that would make an Eulerian circuit. Back to the examples we discussed earlier. Let's try counting the odd and even nodes to try and look if the conditions laid down are in fact accurate. This first example, all nodes are even, except the two nodes with three breezes each, and it follows the condition one, and therefore an Eulerian path is possible. Next, all nodes here are odd, and therefore an Eulerian path is not possible. Here, all nodes turn out to be even, and that is why from condition two, an Eulerian circuit is possible. In the last example, since it follows condition 1, we found that an Eulerian path was possible. Back to the original problem. If we make a network diagram of the breezes of Konigsberg and run the earlier simulation of heat and trial, you'll see that any Eulerian path is not possible. And rightfully so. If we count the breezes in each node and classify them as odd or even, it turns out that all the four nodes are odd nodes. For being a traversable path, that's a big no-no. And that is why the breeze of Konigsberg is untraversable. Isn't that real cool? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe and help the channel grow.